Hi friends, I am Dr. Ashutosh Gupta. I am a consultant in fetal medicine. So today we 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 shall talk about uh, um, uh, neuro development of the fetus in utero. So the routine uh, second trimester or third trimester, which we do, which we ultrasound, do we see any neuro developmental status of the fetus? Can we know about the baby in utero? So there are some criteria available, hai, which um, uh, so meaning thereby that we can divide uh, the movement of the baby in uh, second trimester as well as in third trimester in isolated hand movements, isolated limb movements, isolated leg movements, isolated hand movements and uh, then the face to hand movements, finger movements, uh, the movements of the lip, yawning, um, protruding of the tongue and smiling. So as we move on and we identify that uh, uh, major limb movement if we move um, explicit facial expressions ki taraf, agar hum move karte hai, so probably we can identify that this is more sophisticated sort of a movement and it requires sort of a um, uh, huge amount of a neurodevelopmental coordination between the different neurons Right? So I will explain this in this slide se so these are few cases in which we we see that in a 4D, so the babies are very very, very they are they are they are happy and then they are smiling. So then they are protruding the tongue out. So then they are protruding even the further tongue out into the uh, into the face and small tongue out and therefore the babies are happy, right? And uh, though the though the tongue is also out, so meaning there was the uh, the baby might be teasing the mother. Right, so this is how it looks like. So meaning there was this is a sophisticated movement. So this is thumb sucking. So this this requires a sophisticated movement of the fine muscles of the hand as well as of the tongue to protrude the tongue out and to um, to suck up the thumb. Right. So this is um, sort of a very very sophisticated sort of a movement, and we are very happy seeing all these things. The premise of the fetal medicine is to identify how the baby is doing and making the patients see the fetus in 4D and to look around. But then uh, one step further ahead is to identify that an isolated major limb movements are uh, basic dragger movements and uh, the, uh, the, the lip smacking, smiling, putting the tongue out, yawning, and, um, thumb sucking is a more sophisticated movement and requires some fine coordination between the different uh, short of an, uh, small muscles of the mouth and the tongue so as to protrude it out right and uh, we are very happy seeing all these things and therefore it has got a very huge bearing uh, onto the well-being and the neurodevelopment of the fetus now dividing it into a high risk group and a low risk group as far as the uh, demographic profile and the history and the medical history of the patient is concerned what we have not identified is this that you cannot really divide into this is called as a Kennet scoring so Kennet cannot be so it works wonderfully well in a low risk group but it doesn't work that wonderfully well in a high risk group so it has to be taken with a pinch of salt but whenever you see the babies and they, they are they, they are so happy and they, they are smiling and then the protruding tongue it is very very reassuring thank you very much for your patient listening